Welcome today to our presentation on Medial, a scalable and secure video solution for Canvas that allows teachers and students alike to easily add and record video. If you'd like to check out how the Medial Canvas video app lets Canvas admins quickly and securely add video capabilities to Canvas, you can visit www.medial.com forward slash Canvas. There you'll see information on how Medial's Canvas video app can also be used to allow students to respond to video-based assignments and how teachers can easily add video to course pages and create video assignments. So without further delay, let's proceed with the webinar and we'll talk about the differences between the inbuilt video tools within Canvas and those within the Medial Canvas app. So the first thing to address in terms of the differences between uh, Medial and the inbuilt tools in Canvas are the thorny subject of upload limitations. So in Canvas, as you probably know, with the built-in tools, there is a restriction on the file size that you can upload, which is uh, 500 megs or a much lower amount in terms of individual user uploads. So we've got here a course level. This can be configured, but this is set by default to 500 megabytes and it has to be changed by an administrator if it's possible to change that at all. In Medial, the difference here is, is that the upload limit is configurable all the way up to 100 gigs. We can also set user upload limits by the total amount that they've uploaded or by each month that they've uploaded. This can also be configured down to a group as well. So different groups of people can have different upload limits as well. So teachers could have a different upload from students, for example. Second topic to go through here in terms of the inbuilt functions of Canvas for video is the lack of management capabilities. Talk about management capabilities, we're talking about how we actually administer the content that's uploaded by the users. So we can see here on this screenshot, this is how a user would administer their content within Canvas. So this is a traditional kind of tree structure here, but there's not really any way of the user kind of deleting or editing their content. And this is just seen from an overall user perspective, so not from an administration perspective. In Medial, the overall admin of the system will be able to see all of the content that's been uploaded by all of the users and be able to um, manage that content in terms of editing, deleting, purging, etc., of that content. You don't get that view within Canvas. Another thing that you can do with Medial as well is set up content policies. This allows you to delete content based upon a business rule. On screen here are three typical kind of policies that you would have something, for example, all content before 2018 or all content not played within a certain period, or even deleting any content from a particular course, maybe a course that you're not running again. So here's a screenshot of what the content policies look like. This is just a way of configuring it and what it applies to. So for example, you could have a policy that um, archived all of the content and then permanently deleted it after a particular time. And you could configure this um, in terms of applying to users, groups, categories, or even courses. Other things that you can do in terms of managing your content. So we saw within Canvas, there's very little that could be done in terms of the individual user managing their content. Well. Within Medial, when we go to manage our content, we can do a whole multitude of things here. One of the things that we could do would be to edit a piece of media. We could share a piece of media outside of Canvas. We could download a piece of media or we could delete our own media as a user. So if we did click on edit, as was previously shown on the screen there, we would be able to edit a video all within the browser or without leaving Canvas as pictured here. We'll show a bit more of this when we do, do the demo a little bit later, but here's mainly what it looks like on screen. The third thing I want to go into is the issue of content security and how, how secure your content is when you add it to Canvas. So with the inbuilt Canvas tool, we can see here, you can either insert or edit media or record or upload media. These particular options will just add a media file to Canvas um, using the inbuilt tools. Now, it's not something that I'm going to show on screen here because that's not uh, an appropriate thing to do, but actually downloading that file 
once you're in Canvas and then sharing it outside of Canvas, as long as you have a kind of basic knowledge of the uh, developer tools within a browser, it's a fairly easy thing to do. With Medial, when you add content to Canvas through the Medial button, it is completely secure. It's secured so that that content will only play if somebody has a valid session open in Canvas through LTI. So, but if we did want to do something with that content, i.e. share it outside of Canvas, we could do that. So we can set up rules within Medial that allow people to access that content outside of Canvas. So we would go to the Canvas app, which we'll demonstrate a little bit later. We choose our existing media and we would go to click to enable the content to be public just by clicking on a simple toggle within the content listing screen within Canvas. That would give us a link to either a player, an embedded player, or to a file even, and we could share that outside of Canvas. But the point being here is that we have to do that ourselves as a user. It isn't something that somebody can come in and just take the content if they want to. We would have to um, make that content secure so that people could get at that content. The other thing to say as well is that if content's added through Medial as well, as well as being secure, we also are streaming that content. So it has something called adaptive bitrate, which means that the content can stream back to a user at an applicable speed um, based on their connection speed. Canvas also has these quality options, but they're generally lower quality options than what we have. And they're not um, streamed back in the same way using adaptive bitrate streaming as we do. The next area is the area of content creation. So obviously we're going to do a demo a little bit later showing content being created within Canvas. What can we do with Medial that we can't do with the inbuilt tools within Canvas? So as we can see here, this is using the inbuilt recording function within Canvas. It's a good tool, but it is very, very basic. You're clicking, you're starting your recording, you're selecting your webcam or your mic, or maybe just your mic if you want to record audio. And then at the end of that, you are basically getting the recording. With Medial, you click on the Medial button and then you click to record screen. But you can see here, there are a variety of different options here. You could upload a file, you could choose an existing file, you could record from your webcam. You can have a look at analytics as well. We'll show that in the demo later. But let's say we just record from our screen. At that point, we get a much more powerful recorder here. So we can record our screen, our video or both, not just our webcam. And we can flick between the two. I'll show this a bit more in the demo later, but you can see here, there's lots of configurable options here. And it's a very, very simple interface. No metadata needs to be typed in. We're getting all of the title and the user information so that all of that information is populated into the medial uh, content database. Once we record, as I said, we could show our screen, our webcam, both, and we can flip between the two as well as we go. So if we wanted to start with full screen video as an introduction and then go to a PowerPoint with a smaller video within the recording, we can do that as we go. We don't have to stop or start the recording as we do that. And obviously, once we've done that recording, we want to be able to edit that recording in the same way that a student might want to edit a video assignment before they upload it. And Medial has all of those tools built into the browser where we can trim, we can chop, i.e. take a part out of the video. We can even export, which means we can create individual video assets out of one video as a destructive or non-destructive edit. And we can do fine tune editing up to one tenth of a second. The next point to talk about is accessibility, which is increasingly important in today's um, educational environment. What can we do with Canvas built in? Well, we can add a video and we can add some subtitles as an SRT or VTT file. And we can also choose the language. This is a good, um, good way of supporting accessibility, but it relies on you having the captions file, which is not always the case. With Medial, we can automatically caption all content that's been uploaded to the system if we want to. We can also request captions as well as upload captions. 
which means that we can get the captions put onto the video by automatic speech recognition or by a human. Once the captions have gone into Medial, our player has a variety of different options where we can configure the font, color, size, etc., even the background color or background opacity of the captions themselves. So you can end up with, you know, some results that are, uh, are very good for people who who might have uh, might be partially sighted, etc. The other thing that you can do as well is if the captions that are produced by um, a human or a machine aren't what you're looking for, you can edit those in Medial as well. And this can all be done from within Canvas as well. So if you want to edit your captions for your video within Canvas, you can totally do that within the Medial Canvas app. And we'll show that again later. The other thing to say as well is if Medial doesn't produce captions, the user can request them. So if for whatever reason you didn't put captions on your video, we show a link below the player so that the user can request those captions and the administrator of the system would get to know. We can also allow the user to request better captions if say the video has been captioned by automatic speech recognition and the user wants better captions done by a human. And obviously all of these uh, captions can be managed within the overall medial interface and they can be an approval workflow for that as well if you want particular departments to be able to request captions and others not to. The other thing to say as well, and this is a strength of Medial over the inbuilt Canvas tools, is there's a kind of lack of integrations with the popular um, recording software that's out there. So the first one is Zoom. Obviously, it's a huge part of education now um, off the back of the pandemic. Medial has a, an integration with Zoom, which works with Canvas. And this is the way it works. So in Zoom, you would record to the cloud as you would normally do, that would go to the Zoom cloud. At that point, Medial can ingest the content into the Medial uh, content management system and optionally delete that content from Zoom as well. Once it's into Medial, it can be into Canvas as well because Medial is available within Canvas. So this is kind of the workflow for that. We would go to choose the existing media within the Medial Canvas uh, app, and there we would see all of our content. So any content that had been ingested by Medial from Zoom would be available here. And we'd have all of those options that I showed you earlier where you could edit, share, download, delete, etc., select it and embed it in the course if you wanted to. One thing that a lot of people do with this is they use this as a really nice editing tool for their Zoom recording. So, for example, you might get a teacher record one of their Zoom meetings and there'd be a part of the Zoom meeting that they'd like to take out of the middle where they may have said something uh, not relevant to the lesson or there might be some um, sort of data protection issue around that. So they might want to take that out. You can do that within our editor within Medial, which is great. You can ingest these recordings based on a rule as well. So you can ingest them from certain users. You can ingest them based on whether there's a particular word or hashtag in the Zoom meeting title as well. The other one is Microsoft Teams. And the integration for that with Medial uh, that works with Canvas is identical. We're doing the same thing again. So you record within Teams. Those recordings actually go to OneDrive and SharePoint and Medial ingests them from there, and again, can optionally delete them from OneDrive and SharePoint, and because they're in Medial, they're within the Canvas integration. Same workflow again, choose existing media within the Medial uh, video app in Canvas, and then we can select the Teams recording. We can edit it, we could share it, we could download it, we can do all the things that we can do with any piece of media in Medial with the Teams recording. Most people are just gonna select it and add it to the rich text editor in Canvas. Next point is analytics. We want to know that our video solution is working for us. We want to know that people are using it. We, teachers want to know that students are watching their content. How do we know that with the inbuilt tools in Canvas? We don't. With Medial, we know pretty much everything. <laughs> so the teacher can go into the uh, Medial Canvas app and they can see analytics for all of the content that they've uploaded themselves. So every single piece of content, they can see how many people are watching it, when they're watching it, the devices they're watching it on, etc. 
If they wanted this data to be anonymized um, so that they couldn't see which particular people uh, had done that, we can do that as well. This here is showing um, that we can show engagement on a clip as well. So on each individual video, the teacher can go in and can see how engaged all of the students were with the video across a time period. So we can see here that this particular video has a good level of engagement across the board. And we can also see which students by name um, and how engaged they were with the video as well, which is great because then we know our video solutions working if the students are watching our videos.